In today's video, I'm going to show you this really awesome digital wiggle effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you this really awesome and really creative transition called the Wiggle Transition. Now, this effect is done straight inside of Adobe After Effects, so once you've created a brand new composition and you've imported two video clips into After Effects, we need to begin with this effect. So scroll towards the end of your first video clip, and then in the Effects and Trolls tab on the right of After Effects, you want to search for Wigglerama. Drop the Wigglerama effect on top of your first video clip, and you will instantly see this really ugly rotation effect has been applied to the footage, and this is just a little bit too extreme and a little bit too ugly. So we need to go into Wigglerama, and fix this up. Now pull your cursor head towards the very end of your first video clip and inside of Wigglerama, you want to set a keyframe for the wiggle speed, nervousness, position, rotation, wiggle scale, and the wiggle width. Now pull the cursor head back maybe three, four, maybe five keyframes, and you want to pull everything down to 0%. So the wiggle speed goes down to zero, the nervousness can go down to one, wiggle position goes back down to zero, rotation zero, wiggle scale zero, and then wiggle width back down to zero. So from here, we're just gonna add a little bit of separation in between those keyframes, just so we can really see this effect take place. Now there you go, if we play this back, that looks really awesome, but the problem is we can see the black around the video and this completely ruins the effect. So in the effects tab on the right of After Effects, we need to search for motion tile and we'll drop motion tile on that first video clip. Now in the settings for motion tile, we want to pull the output width and the output height both up to 300% and then we want to select mirror edges. Now pull the motion tile effect above transform and wiggler armor. And by doing this, you can see that After Effects has copied the edge pixels from the video to extend the width of the video, therefore removing the black background. Now from here, we're gonna move on to the second video clip. So we're gonna copy the motion tile effect from this first clip and we'll paste it onto the second clip. And then from there, we need to apply Wigglerama to this second video clip. So we'll go back into effects and presets and search for Wigglerama. Now making sure you pull the cursor head back to the very beginning of the second clip, you want to create a keyframe on all of the settings inside of Wigglerama. Now push the cursor head maybe six or seven keyframes to the right and pull everything down to the lowest number possible. So wiggle speed is zero, nervousness is one, position is zero, rotation is zero, scale is zero, and the wiggle width is zero. Now, when we play this footage back, the wiggle effect is complete. The wiggle transition is there, but we can see the mirroring of the footage, and this looks a little bit too ugly and amateur. So we're going to do two things to fix this up. So we'll activate the motion blur on both of these clips by selecting the motion blur box, and then activate motion blur within the composition. Now the motion blur will hide this mirror effect a little bit, but to completely sell this effect, you just need to increase the scale of both clips just a little bit. And there you go. That is how you do the wiggle transition inside of Adobe After Effects. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by pressing that circle icon up there. And also don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this rectangle icon just down here.